Pramipexol and ropinirole are drugs used to treat Parkinson's disease and restless leg syndrome. They help to increase the availability of dopamine. They act on dopamine receptors to mimic endogenous dopamine activity. This agonist activity at dopamine receptors then helps stimulate motor control of body movements. In this video, I'll share with you my visual mnemonic to help you remember all the information you need to know about Pramipexol and Ropinirol for test day. We are throwing it back to high school for this scene. It looks like this girl and guy are getting ready for prom. We must be getting set up to take some prom pictures or something. Speaking of, let this prom remind us of Pramipexol. Got it? Because prom sounds like Pramipexol. Pramipexol is a drug used to treat Parkinson's disease, which we'll talk more about later. For now, just remember prom for Pramipexol, and you'll be all set for test day. Next, take a look at the robe the father's wearing. He doesn't need to look good since the father's not the one going to the dance, right? By the way, robe should help us remember ropinirol since robe literally sounds like robinirol. Just like Pramipexol, ropinirol is a drug used to treat Parkinson's disease, which we'll talk more about later. For now, just remember robe for ropinirol and you'll be set for test day. This mother is pretty excited about celebrating her daughter's first prom, so she's obsessed about taking pictures to remember it. She's getting the room ready for some photos by adjusting the rope curtains to let some light in. And since we're talking about ropes, rope is our recurring symbol for dopamine. Get it? Since rope sounds similar to dopamine or ropamine? Pramipexol and ropinirol act on dopamine receptors to mimic endogenous dopamine activity. Since dopamine is responsible for coordinating the body's movements at the basal ganglia, this agonist activity at dopamine receptors then helps stimulate motor control of body movements. One more thing. Pramipexol and ropinirol are often called non-ergot dopamine agonists. This is because they're not made from a type of fungus called ergot, unlike bromocryptine, which we cover in another video. This is not important to know at all for test day, but just good to be aware of in case you hear people talk about these drugs as non-ergot dopamine agonists. Anyway, just remember this rope for activated dopamine receptors. Got that? Let's see who else is at prom pick gathering. It looks like Grandpa woke up out of bed to catch the prom pick. Looks like our old man here is trying to balance, and we can actually see his walker rattling. By the way, let this rattling walker be our symbol for Parkinson's disease, since patients with Parkinson's disease often have rattling or tremors as well as gait instability. Pramipexol and ropinirol can be used to treat Parkinson's disease by restoring dopamine signaling in the brain. You see, Parkinson's results from a loss of dopamine signaling after damage to dopamine-producing neurons in the brain. Pramipexol and ropinirol both activate dopamine receptors, reversing the loss of dopamine signaling and therefore helping to treat Parkinson's. Clinically, Pramipexol and ropinirol are used as initial treatments in the early stages of Parkinson's, and these drugs delay the need to administer the big guns, like levodopa. Just picture this rattling walker to remember that Pramipexol and ropinirol are used to treat Parkinson's disease, and you'll be set for test day. This guy is so excited for prom. He's actually already dancing at home. He's wobbling his legs a lot, doing the stanky leg dance or the shimmy or something. Well, since his legs are shaking a lot, this should help us remember restless leg syndrome. In addition to Parkinson's disease, Pramipexol and ropinirol are used to treat restless leg syndrome, which is fittingly a condition characterized by an uncontrollable urge to move one's legs, usually in the evening or night. I like to think that Pramipexol and ropinirol help to treat restless leg syndrome by increasing agonist activity at dopamine receptors which can help coordinate or increase motor control of body movements. Again, just remember this kid dancing by shaking his legs for restless leg syndrome, which Pramipexol and Ropinirol can treat. Oh no, it looks like this grandpa got a hold of all the prom desserts. 
He's actually eaten all the cookies that were meant for the kids. Oops, I guess it's hard to control yourself when the cookies are this good. By the way, this guy not being able to control himself from eating all the cookies should help us remember impulse control disorder. You see, one weird side effect of Pramipexol and Ropinerol is a decrease in impulse control. Basically, patients taking these drugs can lose their inhibitions and exert impulsive, even inappropriate behavior, such as gambling, inappropriate jokes, excessive flirting, and more. Try to remember this grandpa being unable to stop eating cookies for impulse control disorder, which is an adverse effect of Pramipexol and Ropinerol. There's a few other adverse effects we have to share about Pramipexol and Ropinerol. These drugs can cause hallucinations and confusion. I like to rationalize this, not memorize it, by remembering that high levels of dopamine can actually cause psychiatric disorders like hallucination and confusion in schizophrenia. Basically, excessive signaling at dopamine receptors can cause altered mental status. Make sense? In addition, Pramipexol and Ropinerol can also cause mild hypotension, which manifests as postural lightheadedness or dizziness. This is a pretty low-yield side effect, which is why we didn't symbolize it here. All right, it's time for us to finish taking these prom picks so these kids can get off to the dance. Let's wrap up with a quick summary and get out of here. Pramipexol and Ropinerol are drugs that work to activate dopamine receptors to mimic endogenous dopamine activity. This activating effect at dopamine receptors then helps increase motor control of body movements, which is helpful in treating Parkinson's disease and restless leg syndrome. A major adverse effect of Pramipexol and Ropinerol is impulse control disorder. Other adverse effects of Pramipexol and Ropinerol include hallucinations, confusion, and hypotension. And our kids are off to the prom dance. Ah, doesn't prom feel like ages ago? I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.